Hey guys, what's going on? Here is my 2020 partial lawn care setup. Uh, I say partial because I'm going to be getting uh, a zero turn and a trailer later in February. So I'll have that to throw up here too for the full lawn care setup. But this is just a partial. This is what I've been using the past uh, two years going into the third. And we're going to start from the left and go to right. We're going to talk about some hand tools. We're going to talk about some oils and liquids. And we're going to talk about some miscellaneous stuff like that. Here on the left, I have my Lowe's five gallon bucket. I actually have three of these. It's always good to have a, a bucket of some sort with you, a trash can or anything, because you never know what you're gonna have to pick up. Um, but with me getting a zero turn, it'll be good for me to carry this on the mower with me. I pick up trash, pick up sticks, stuff like that, because you can always dump it out in the woods or uh, discard it somewhere else. So it's always good to have a five gallon bucket with you. They have many uses, they're pretty much universal. Here in the back, I have my Echo PAS 225 weed eater with the weed eater attachment and the edger attachment. And before you ask, yes, there is no guard. As you can see here, it broke off. I'm going to be dropping that off at my Echo dealer uh, sometime before mowing season. Have them put a new guard on it or just give me a new one. I think it's covered under warranty. So uh, get that fixed. Up here in the front, we have my Husqvarna 141 chainsaw. It has a 16 inch bar. As you can see, it's got the bar cover on it right now. Uh, this is a residential chainsaw. Um, it's really good for trimming small trees and bushes that are too thick for the hedge trimmer to get through. Uh, I only trim two bushes, so that's not really a big deal. But it's always good to have a chainsaw because you never know when a customer's going to come out and ask you to trim a tree in the backyard. As long as it's not something ridiculous like having to climb it and trim, uh, I don't mind that. But, you know, if someone has a low-hanging branch that's hitting their house or something, go ahead and cut that off. So it's, uh, it's always good to have a small chainsaw with you. The trimmer line that I use is Echo Crossfire 0 .80 with a shape right here. I also use Oregon Gator Line 0 .80, just the round line. Um, I found that those two work the best, so I'm probably going to be uh, running both of those this lawn season. Over here I have my one gallon gas can that is filled with 50 to 1 mixed for my weed eater and backpack blower, also the chainsaw. And this is a two gallon filled with straight, uh, straight gas, non-ethanol, that's for the mower. I'm also going to be getting two bigger gas cans, probably going to get a, um, two sure cans later in the year. Back here we have the main mower. This is a Cub Cadet SC500Z, 159cc. I actually got this in May of 2019. I used it for you know all of that season, but instead of doing a review right after I get it, I wanted to wait and use it for a year. Make sure you know I knew what I was, I knew what I liked and didn't like about it before I put up a final review. So uh, I'll put that final review up in May once I've had it for a year. Another thing to point out about this mower, it has caster wheels on the front like a zero turn, so it makes it very good for maneuvering in yards, uh, very easy to push. Uh, it's self-propelled back there in the back with a my speed control, so it makes it very easy. You can pretty much mow with one hand. Back here I have my Husqvarna two gallon tank sprayer. Uh, customers want me to spray weeds, spray flower beds. You can put whatever mixer you want in there spray it comes with a bunch of tips on the wand and you can replace the wand so uh, i always like to have that it's a pretty good tank sprayer it's done me well over here on the right we have my echo pb 751t backpack blower we've had this in my family since 2006 um and the only thing i've ever had to do was get the carburetor cleaned out from my echo dealer and put a new gas tank on it that's the only things i've ever had to do and the only things I've ever had to do besides that was replace the air filter and the spark plug when it started acting up. But come to find out that wasn't the air filter or the spark plug, that was the carburetor. So I really didn't even need to replace the air filter and spark plug that had been there since 2006. Speaking of having something in the family, this chainsaw, I've actually, or it's been in our family since 2001. This is a 1998 model and it still runs perfectly. Never change the air filter, never change the spark plug. Never clean the carburetor, which I'll probably get those changed this season, but uh, you never know. But this has been in our family since 01, so it, it runs like a beast. I have no reason to buy another one. Over here I have my other 5-gallon bucket from Home Depot. Like I said, it's always good to have buckets. In the bucket I have some weed killer uh, that has the wand on it that you can spray with, so I either spray with that or with the tank sprayer like I showed you. I have a... Uh, Black & Decker 16 inch cut hedge trimmer. It's electric, runs on a cord. Um, I trim two hedges, so there's no reason for me to run out and spend a bunch of money on gas hedge trimmer when I only trim two hedges. 
And down below that, I have a Toro 10 inch chainsaw that my neighbor gave me. She didn't need it anymore, so she gave it to me. Uh, use that around the house. Uh, or, you know, as a backup for small stuff if I ever need it. And on top of all that, I have a, I believe it's a 50 foot extension cord. Uh, it's more than what I need, but it works. Over here on the workbench, the oil that I use in my gas is Husqvarna two cycle oil for all use, for use in all air cooled engines. It's 2.6 ounces to make 50 to 1 mix for one gallon of gas. Uh, I've been using that for a couple years now and it works good for me. Some small tools, I have a ruler. You never know when you're gonna need to measure something. You never know when you're gonna need to, you know, graph something out on a paper, so it's always good to have these. I have a hatchet. Uh, you can use it for small stuff, small branches, overgrowth, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's always good to have a hatchet. Here I have a socket and a wrench. Because you never know when something's going to break down. Always need to have tools with you. And over here I have two batteries. These are 4 amp hour 18 volt batteries from Rigid. They both go with my Rigid uh, 18 volt uh, brushless uh, driver and drill, drill driver, whichever one. Uh, they work pretty good. I use them at home most of the time, but I usually take them out with me just in case anything happens. Here I have a tape measure. Like I said, you never know when you're going to need to measure something. And it's always good to have a ball pin hammer. Uh, no one, no matter if you're working lawn care or you're just at home, uh, it's always, you always need a hammer. And here I have a vise. Um, I can't speak highly enough of this vise. Vices are universal. You can use whatever you want to. This is actually a bench vise. You can put bolts in it to bolt it to your bench. But it can go on the tail. It's got a place to fit on the tailgate of my truck. So I take it out with me just in case I need to put uh, anything in it and bend it or something. You can open these up. Put lawnmower blades in here and sharpen them if you need to. It's just, uh, it's, it's real universal. More electric stuff. I have a Black & Decker electric uh, blower, which is actually, it's been in my family for years too. It's just something we've always had. And on top of that, I have a, a Black & Decker electric edger that my neighbor gave me. Uh, she didn't need it, but I'm going to sell it because I don't need it either. Good edger. Works perfectly. As you can see, she always kept it clean. So, uh, probably going to sell that make a couple bucks. I have wrenches, sockets. Just, you know, all kinds of tools because I, I usually take that box with me when I'm out cutting lawns because you never know when something's going to break down, something's going to happen, and you're going to need a wrench. So always take some tools with you when you're out. Behind that, as you can see, there's a uh, there's a rake back here. It comes up through here and up to the top. Uh, I just got that behind there now just to put it back there, uh, get it out of the way. But I take that with me when I'm out doing lawns, and I use it around the house. And over here we have Husqvarna Bond and Chain Oil. Good for your chainsaw. That's pretty much it for my 2020 partial lawn care setup. Uh, if you missed it, like I said, partial because I'm getting a trailer and a zero turn. Uh, late February, early March before the lawn season starts. So I'll be getting that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. If you aren't subscribed, do that right now. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. You don't have to, but it'd be greatly appreciated if you did. Uh, so you'll never miss a video. Make sure you, if you do subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. I usually stick to lawn care and woodworking, but sometimes I'll stray off for other topics. Um, I'm actually going to go record a Q&A right now. Uh, you guys have sent me some questions on my Instagram that I linked uh, back in a future, uh, or back in a past video. I linked my Instagram, and uh, you guys blew it up with questions. So I'm going to go uh, film that right now. I'll have it, you know, filmed, uploaded, edited, uploaded, all that in about an hour. So no big deal. But um, all this equipment back here is pretty much going to stay the same. Maybe the weed eater might change, uh, might go with Husqvarna because I tried to echo out this year and I'm not really feeling it. But, uh, you know, we'll just see where it goes. Uh, might do some stuff halfway through the, the, the lawn season. So, you know, you never know when something's going to happen. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Give it a like, like I said, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.